Electrothermal propulsion. How it works. The components of an electrothermal rocket generally consist of some sort of an electric heat source, a storage tank for the propellant gas and the gas itself, as well as a nozzle to direct the exhaust. Electrothermal rockets work by using an electric heat source such as a microwave radiation generator to heat the propellant gas into a plasma. Heating the propellant gas causes it to expand and start moving at a much higher velocity. The gas exits the rocket from the nozzle at high velocity, producing thrust. The energy conversion begins with the source of the electricity, which can be chemical energy stored in batteries, light energy from the sun, or nuclear energy in a reactor. This energy is then converted into electricity. The electricity is converted into thermal energy in the propellant through a variety of different possible methods, turning the propellant into a plasma. The thermal energy is then converted into kinetic energy as the hot expanding plasma is forced out of the nozzle of the rocket at high velocity. When the rocket exerts a force on the propellant, it pushes it backwards out of the nozzle. Because of Newton's third law, the propellant exerts an equal and opposite force on the spacecraft, propelling it forwards. Where electrothermal propulsion might be used. Electrothermal propulsion is not highly efficient, and the thrust produced is not very large, so electrothermal rockets are usually small engines used in situations where energy is abundant and high thrust is not needed, such as being used on satellites for maintaining orbit. They are also used on spacecraft for making small adjustments to the trajectory. Because they produce much less thrust than chemical rockets, they are not often used as the main propulsion rockets for spacecraft. The usefulness of the engine depends on how much electricity and propellant is available. If the propellant runs out, the engine will no longer be able to produce thrust, so the engines are usually used in quick bursts to try to preserve as much propellant as possible. If the electricity source goes out, such as when a satellite goes behind the shadow of the Earth and is no longer able to get energy from its solar panels, the engine will not be able to operate until the electricity source comes back again. Similarities and differences with the other propulsion types. Thermoelectric propulsion is similar to plasma propulsion systems as they both make use of plasma to propel the spacecraft. Unlike normal thrusters on a spacecraft that uses a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen, electrothermal thrusters use electricity as a source of power. Here are the sources we used.